Clayton and Ellen Kershaw are celebrating a milestone. 10 years of their foundation, Kershaw's Challenge. 10 years ago, I was a girl in college who was making summer trips over to Zambia, Africa, falling in love one child at a time. When it comes down to it, Kershaw's Challenge is about helping kids. It's about giving kids an opportunity that they might not have had before. It's just been an incredible thing to see. For 10 years, you've been doing this with your foundation, right? Giving back, yeah. giving back in Africa, giving back to kids. So here we are in the middle of this whole pandemic. We've been thinking about it a lot, just as far as, you know, before the season starts, obviously, we have these beneficiaries that we pick and they're all doing amazing things, you know, across the world that we're so happy to be a part of. But then the pandemic hits and we're like, man, this is an immediate need. Is there any way that we can kind of combine the two or do different things? So that's what we're working on right now. Obviously, right now, our top priority is helping those who are on the front line of COVID and really trying to help support the families who have lost jobs, who are working to feed their families. Tell me what shoes the fit is. We tackle one of the most visible signs of poverty, which is shoes, um, providing brand new athletic shoes for kids who need them across the U.S. It really must be extraordinary then for you to have the Kershaws come aboard. Oh, it's beyond extraordinary and the impact that they're making. What is it about this organization? We love it. I just think it's so cool. I mean, kids love getting new shoes. I love getting new shoes. I just think it's something that's really fun about it and maybe gives them a little bit of confidence going into school that, hey, I look good in these new shoes. And um, you know, it just kind of brings everybody, you know, your morale up a little bit. Yeah. It's just a very tangible um, way that we're able to love on these kids. Yes, even though baseball's not going on right now, that doesn't mean Kershaw's Challenge stops. We may have to get creative this year. You know, we had to put Ping Pong for Purpose, our big fundraiser in L.A., um, on the back burner, just not knowing what this season would look like. And this is going to be a challenge for us this year, just to figure out how are we going to compensate when we don't have these big fundraising events. There are seven total beneficiaries for the foundation. If you want to check it out, go on social media, Kershaw's Challenge. You'll find it there. So earlier, you